Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a while. So let's look at some recent usage statistics for PHP websites. And I'm going to give you a couple of comments based on that. I'm at the W3 Techs, so they look at a bunch of sites. This was as of today, very recent stats. So I'm recording this in July, 2023. Usage statistics of PHP websites, 11th July, 2023. So we see at the top here, close to 80% of websites that they scan, they scan lots and lots of websites. So PHP is used by 77.4% of all websites whose server-side programming language we know. This diagram shows the percentage of websites using various versions of PHP. So version 7 is used by 64.9% of all websites. So you see version 7 is the uh, predominant popular version, popu followed by 5, and even 8. 8 is the latest version, which is the enterprise version. So you can see it's been out for a little while now. Despite that, you can see most people are still on 7. That tells you that 8, the new features are really specialized, I would argue. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can find the growth rates of PHP compared to other server-side programming languages in our PHP market report. Uh, let's see what's going on there. Okay, let's stop. Too slow. Let's look at this. I wanted to look at market position because this is going to give us insight into the PHP programming world. So this diagram shows the market position of PHP in terms of popularity and traffic compared to the most popular server-side programming languages. Market survey data here. Anyway, let's just look at this. So on this uh, axis here, used by high traffic sites, used by low traffic sites. And uh, so you see Java, ASP.NET, even Ruby is used by high traffic sites. I don't know why they have Scala down here. But if you look at PHP, it's right in the middle. Typical PHP site is not as high volume as the Java and ASP sites and the Ruby sites typically. But uh, as you can see here, uh, with this axis here, used by fewer sites, used by uh, many sites, you can see PHP is far and away the most popular server-side programming language. No question about that. Now, for those of you who may say, hey, PHP is only used by small sites, it's predominantly... I would argue it's a lot of small sites use PHP. That's why it's on the vertical axis here. It's it's just below Ruby and ASP.NET and above Scala. It's weird that they have Scala there. Anyway, see though, PHP is used by popular sites like Facebook, Microsoft, Wikipedia, WordPress, Pinterest, Vimeo, WordPress, Mozilla, Tumblr, Europa, EU. As you can see, that kind of breaks the illusion that you can't use PHP in high bandwidth sites. Sites using PHP only recently. So Microsoft, Express.co.uk. Let's look at uh, JavaScript. That's not loading very fast. I guess they're using Ruby on the back end of that. Anyway, what to take away from this? PHP is widely used. I think it was 77% uh, of sites. You see in terms of whether it's uh, high bandwidth sites or low bandwidth sites or high traffic sites rather versus low traffic sites, PHP is somewhere in the middle. That is probably because the typical PHP site is a small business website. So that drags down the average traffic level, if you will, for PHP. This supports my assertion that if you're going to be working in the small business space, freelancer, think freelancer, Anything small business, which the vast majority of jobs are in, you're going to be using PHP. Do you have to learn PHP? No. But to claim that it is not a viable language in 2023 is silly. And here's my prediction. My prediction is that PHP will actually gain in popularity over the next several years simply because it has certain advantages. With the PHP 8, it's enterprise-ready and uh, which means it can handle very large projects even more effectively. You could do it beforehand. You could do it with PHP 7 and even 5. When people see how easy it is to deploy PHP, how easy it is to get it up and running, there's going to be demand. Does that mean I think you should drop everything and do PHP? No. It's just something viable. The reason I talk about it, because not too many people talk about it, PHP is kind of the red-headed stepchild of the coding world. I could use other analogies about something very popular, but people don't want to talk about it. Anyway, there you go. I hope this is useful. If you have any comments, have any questions, let me know below.
Just a quick update. I took a few days off. I went on a little trip, a little business trip and a little vacation. And I used my self-driving vehicle, uh, my GV70, my first self-driving car. It's not as good as a Tesla in terms of self-driving, but it blows away Tesla, Tesla in terms of comfort. So it made a huge difference in terms of my driving experience. I was able to drive in a 30... 36 hour period, I was able to drive for 14 hours and it was like, it was like nothing. It was like nothing. It was like I was sitting in my living room having a coffee while the car drove me down the highway. Now I have to touch the wheel every few minutes and that's about it. it steers, it speeds up, slows down. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. It makes a huge difference and it really uh, reminded me ab about how much Cognitive load, meaning how much you have to think and pay attention, how tiring that can be. That's why after you do a long road trip, you're like really tired because your brain is working pretty hard to make sure you don't crash into things. But when the car takes care of it, it makes all the difference. So I mentioned this because I'll be doing my Coder in a Car series uh, starting in November. And I bought this new vehicle specifically for that task. All right. And that's, uh, that's about it. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.